guys, Abraham here at the Salmon Homestead. Today I'm going to do a few projects here out at the acres. One of those projects being removing this old hay that we're going to use as our, our pig bedding in our little hut that's right over there. Um, I'm going to get that off onto the pallets right here and then the other big thing is then to cover with plastic um, the little hut for for the pigs um, I think the only thing I'm thinking with that of my debate with myself is do I put one sheet of plastic or two sheets of plastic on um, just because it's so windy um, but I'm also thinking once I roll the wood and just screw on, screw it on the edge around I'm thinking that the plastic will stay rather well too so I'll see what I'm up for if it works maybe I'll do two just uh, have two coverings on there um, but otherwise I'm just gonna get started here uh, tractors not available to take this off um, so I'm just gonna cut them and take them off with um, the slabs and lay them on here uh, cover it with uh, I took one of the two tarps from the tractor cover it with the tarp and put some string across the top to hold it down we are supposed to get some rain four maybe on the next five four excuse me four or five days out of the next week um so quite a rainy uh days coming up here so i do want to get it covered even though it is old but it is dry and that's going to be good for the pigs when they come So that's one and a half over. Stacked up really well. It's a, I think it's a three by three by seven bale. I'll measure this one here before I cut the string. But it pulls apart really well. And of course, since it's three by three, stacking wise, it's like a square stacking straight up. So I think what I'll do is I'll build a little bit more there and then put the rest of this on the next three pallets there. Okay, it is all unloaded. I got some nice string. And I have to find a use for that. A little bit left in here, I'll just throw that on top. I would throw it in there already, even though it's gonna get covered. But with all the rain, I'll just put it in when the pigs come. So so now I'm gonna just finish clearing this off and then uh, put the tie the tarp to the top of my little short he mound here.
I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. It just took a little energy to, you know, take the three bales off, but I think they look pretty good. Um, remember, I'm just using it for, you know, keep the pigs dry, warm. Um, that's the purpose of it. Maybe they'll love it and eat a bunch of it too. Well, we'll just have to get them some more then. Um, one thing also I was told when I was covering is, you know, don't wrap it like a package so that moisture um, builds up on there. So what I've, I think I've seen now is that I could probably go another pallet wide. I got enough, and I probably could go two more pallets one way or the other to drop. So just so it's dropped down the edge and on this side, it's even a little bit more exposed. You know, this side's from the west. Um, so therefore, the you know, when that rain's coming, I'm guessing it's gonna come from this way. It wouldn't get that wet there, but it drain off and it's open on the end so that moisture can roll out and not just sit in there and make the hay mold. So now, um, I'm gonna go on to working on that guy, but now I'm looking in the back of the truck and I forgot to throw the plastic in there. Um, I can show you the, I brought the wood. I even have a cord that I'm gonna wrap around to there in case we need a, to um, put a light in there and stuff, but yes, um, I forgot to bring along the plastic. So what does that mean? That means I gotta get the plastic and I'm also then gonna do the chickens as well. But I think I should get the plastic too because I think the wind might be calming down. It might be only like 10, 15 miles an hour now as well. And it's sunny out. It's cold. It's still below 32, but the sun has now come out. So it's maybe feeling a little bit warmer. And, um, and I have the time, so I might as well cover that with plastic. Get it done. So that, you know, I surely don't want to do it a day that it's raining or something like that. So, all right, give me a moment and we'll get onto that project. End is done. Now I'm going to do this side because the wind is coming from that way, going that way. I'm gonna do this side next.
guys. Let's see how it looks and then already I got a, a comment about how I did something as well. So I'll work backwards. I just um, put this yellow cord around the outside because our energy source is over on that corner of the paddock there. Um, so we're running it this way around and then I have our cord that can come across and then maybe if needed I will um, put a little stake and hold it off the wire that goes around the edge. I guess I can walk around this way. Um, so I'm thinking at the moment from this side I think it looks really good. Uh, the plastic really isn't moving on this side. And then I added, of course you saw I added the string. Every other um, rafter I added the string. So now what I'm seeing, I guess I'm jumping to it already, is this. So now I guess I could have went from one there down to that second one over to here and then it would have crisscrossed. Maybe that would prevent um, that whip as well. Front, just a little down in the front, I guess I had the extra plastic. And on this is the side that's showing more of the whipping because it's on the opposite side of where the wind is coming from. So then that gets to my top. The moment, what, what have I do different or when I change the plastic, what am I most likely gonna do is I'm gonna try and round off my tops up there. My pointed tops. You know, if I took them down maybe, took them down a half inch and just rounded them over, sanded them over. Um, so I think that would help. So let's walk inside. I mean, for sure I'm gonna have a, a different uh, feel from no wind. And, I don't know, yeah, there's no wind and it feels pretty good in here. I, I, I probably should have a thermometer along to show the temperature difference from in here to out there. But, um, yeah, I'm really liking it. I don't, you know, out, at nighttime I suppose the temperature will be the same inside and out, but we'll have that hay in here. Pigs can nestle into there, but the direct moment I'm pretty pumped on how it is. Um, we'll see what the pigs eat, or hopefully don't eat. That it, you know I don't have to replace too much. I got a bunch of plastic. If I need to replace the top, then I just have to. Um, but I actually think what I'm going to do yet is I got a little bit of that string left from the bales, and of course I have some screws. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run them run it over. I know I did the wood across there, but that will help um, a little bit. So, but then I'll push it back into the corner. And yeah, it's, this is a really tiny spot, but it's just really to get the pigs to know us and to get used to the spot and then we'll open it up. So my thought on that is, um, I'll probably run it where some days I come out, let them out into the bigger paddock here and then at night I put them in do that for maybe a you know three or four days five days and then I just leave it open um, as far as any of the snow yet um, we are supposed to get a bunch of rain so I'm thinking it's gonna leave I might dig out under the wires yet and at least where like the gates got to go I already dug out that gate spot I got to dig out that gate spot there but other than like putting this panel in, which there's our opening to back them in, hopefully within the week, um, we'll be set. We'll set up a water, nipple water here yet, and probably a water that, that uh, is just in a little um, black container because it's gonna freeze at night, so that way they'd have some water if they wanted. Um, so, yeah, I think it turned out rather well. I think the only, I wish it wasn't flapping as much, but I suppose it's good. If it wasn't windy, I wouldn't know it's flapping and then maybe I wouldn't put the string on, but it's been extremely windy. Um, 
You know, if I swing you over to where that, that hay spot is, that's hardly moving at all. But that, but that tarp is a lot thicker. Um, and there, and it doesn't have all the creases to be blowing. So, but I think I'm gonna dig out under the fence a little bit yet. And uh, I got a little bit of string left to do. But I think this is where I'm gonna leave you on this, guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching the, the building of the pig paddock and that all getting put together. You know, uh, some of you have watched that, otherwise you can tune in to watch that. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. So as long as when the time for sure comes to bring the pigs down, it's not 50 degrees because of 50 degrees, it's gonna be mucky coming in. Um, we should be good to go. So you guys have a good one. And we'll see you on the next one.